Purple Frog Global Gaming Community. Hello fellow gamers, Makushin here again from Purple Frog Gaming and we are back to talk about the new animal, Dunkleosteus. Mm. Now the Dunkleosteus is a placoderm. It's essentially a genus of armoured fish that, are, that uh, lived on the earth during the Devonian period and they are renowned for being very heavily armoured fish. The Dunkleosteus in fact actually has the bone armour on its front of up to two inches thick. Now another fascinating fact about this fish is it actually has no teeth. If you guys look inside the front of its jaw, it actually, those big blades are just extensions of its jawbone that are sharpened together by the grinding motion as it closes its mouth. Now this fish in Ark is pretty big, it's bigger than a megalodon marginally and it's also exceptionally more useful in my opinion than a megalodon. This animal can actually chop through the oil nodes that you're going to find at the bottom of the ocean thus harvesting the oil and stone, making it a very, very effective deep sea, deep sea miner. Now, that being said, it is also very good at tanking. This fish is unbelievably good at taking punishment due to that thick armor up front. I personally had to shoot one of these things 100, 112 arrows to knock this just one out. And that being said, he nearly killed me at least 12 times. Luckily, I had some animals to help me shield, but he still nearly got me, and those chompers are no mean feat. His main role, besides sea mining, is going to be very good effective chitin farmer. Now he's going to be very good at killing trilobites and the eurypterids that we discussed in the previous video. He is very good at collecting the chitin and silicapels out of those animals besides his mining role. Now we're going to go and show what these things are like in the wild and we're going to see how they act according to the other species. Now surprisingly for this animal, it is actually remarkably passive. Most of us are used to the deep sea animals being incredibly mean to us. They will pick on you, attack you instantly. Unlike, the, unlike them, the Dunkleosteus is actually a remarkably friendly animal. It will not go after you, and it more or less is content with all things to do. It will just sit in the water column and passively hang around, no problem whatsoever. Looks like we got one here, here one right now. Now, a sense of scale, it's not the biggest animal in the ocean. It's still smaller than my Mosasaur here, and it's still smaller than a Plesiosaur. And as you can see, it is a very, very slow swimmer. It's not going to be the quickest animal in the ocean. Its job is literally to tank and take punishment. That being said, right now we are at the most northern sector of the map. We are pretty much in the northwest of the map and this is a really common spawn. I have seen a lot of spawns over here. Pause the video while you fight these guys. I know I had to, it was going up to shame. So, as you saw there, this Mosasaur, which I must admit is a very strong animal, actually took a lot more bites to take that thing out than anything we've seen. Now, that being that is partially due down to the Dunkleosis already armor rating being up, so your saddled ones will have a lot of armor on them and be very, very tough animals. They may even be able to survive to plesiosaurs in the deep ocean if they're high enough level. Now, we're in the northwest quadrant, it's a very common spawn for them, there are also spawns in the south, so you should definitely spot this animal just swimming in the open water. It's very slow, has no problem with people, so you should be able to just go right past it, it should not do anything to you, it's a very friendly animal. That being said, if you do piss one off, a good idea is, not, is to just stay inside its turning radius, it has a very, very poor turning radius, so you can pretty much kite it just by staying inside that. And if you want to tame it, do that while shooting it, and you'll get one fairly easily. This has been Makushin signing off. Have a great day, everyone.